Welcome back to Perks Recap. Back at it again. We're hitting Pat Benatar. The name of the song is One Love. I definitely don't know it. Uh, I want to thank Brandon for the donation and the suggestion on this one. If you want to donate, all that information for PayPal and Venmo is in the description. And if you uh, donate, I'll react to anything you want me to. Anyway, the name of the song is One Love. Like I said, um, I don't know. I know of Pat Benatar, obviously. I know the hits. Um, but I don't know this one. I don't really know anything about her band either. If, if she plays the guitar, I, I really don't know much about Pat Benatar at all. I know of her and some of those those hits, but I never you know dove deep into learning about her band or, or, or who what instruments she plays or if she's just a singer. I don't know any of that. So if you want to help me out, put in the comments below. Give me some information on Pat Benatar. But anyway, I'm ready for this one. I'm ready to uh, dive in. One love. Let's get to it. I like the bass. first started hearing this and actually I was a little concerned about this at the beginning uh before I even started the song was that maybe it was going to be a little bit too poppy too like kind of top 40 sounding and I am a little surprised that this wasn't a bigger hit um or at least I wasn't aware of it 1988 I, pro I probably would have been aware of it if it was a big hit because I do know some of her other stuff um a couple things to touch on the bass is really impressing me um the guitar work, I can appreciate that. There were some guitars in there, so of course I'm going to attach myself to that a little bit. But her voice, Pat Benatar's voice, sometimes you need a little reminder. I knew she had a good voice. I, Like I said, I know some of her hits. Um, but you kind of need a little bit of a reminder. And uh, as soon as she started singing, it was like, oh, yeah, that's she's phenomenal. A great, great voice. So I'm enjoying this one. Hopefully you are too. Let's resume. That should be the only time I pause because it's not that long of a song. So uh, let's kind of let's uh, finish this up. One up. Oh, okay. 
There you have it, One Love by Pat Benatar. Um, super impressed with the vocals there. Oh, real quick, I didn't say at the beginning, please make sure you like and share and uh, comment below about the things that I was asking about, her band members, who what instruments she plays, that, if any. Um, just a little bit more information on Pat would be really appreciated. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, definitely, definitely subscribe. Uh, we're getting more and more variety on the channel. I'm liking that. Um, now, this song would be not what I would classify as class rock, classic rock or what I would definitely always gravitate to in the terms of my personal musical preferences. Uh, this is a little bit more, you know, top 40 sounding kind of a, kind of a sound. But I still was able to, I always say this too, as long as there's things in a song that I can kind of gravitate to and still enjoy, that, that'll carry me through the entire song, even if it's just one thing. This song, this song had a few things. The guitar work that was in there was pretty good. I enjoyed that. The, the bass at the beginning, for sure. And then her voice. Her voice is majestic. Her voice is amazing. And so, I mean, this song had all that in there. So definitely was enjoyable for me. Hopefully you enjoyed as much as me. Uh, we're going to get to some other stuff as we go. Real quick, if you're an NFL fan, don't forget to go to Perks Recap Podcast. Uh, we do two shows a week. We're about to do uh, those two shows starting Wednesday and Thursday. They'll be out. Uh, the week four review and the week five preview. That's what we'll, we'll be doing. And those will be coming out on the, on the channel here on the podcast over the next couple days if you're an NFL fan. And we have a lot of fun doing that. But anyway... Just real quick to sum up with Pat, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, more than I would typically a, a kind of a um, top 40 kind of a sound. I definitely enjoyed it. And also one last thing, I also say sometimes uh, I don't like to hire registers on vocals. Like one of the reasons why I'm not a big Pink Floyd guy is those higher registers. And it's kind of like sounds like they're singing up in the clouds but that's only for really male voices. I don't mind it with, with female voices as much, not nearly as much. I, in fact, I kind of enjoy that. But her voice anyway, no matter what way she's singing, is amazing. All right, I'm rambling. Until next time, I will see you later. <laughs>